Hey, hey, Intuitive Soul Tribe. Mel, Intuitive Coach here, excited to bring to you today's collective reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, collective, welcome. I'm getting a message here around a park or potentially a zoo or a place where animals are kept. Some of you may be touring, you could be visiting, or perhaps you live near a park or a zoo. This could also be a message around back to school or children. You do have animals coming in here as well, so that could be someone getting a new animal. You may be out taking your animals for a walk. And there's something here about the unconditional love of an animal. Maybe one that has crossed over in the spirit world because I see signs and symbols. For others of you, I feel like this is your emotional support pet for a lot of you. Okay, that's helped you. Been here for maybe a while. I actually have healing at the bottom of the deck here. I'm getting the name Chris, Kristen, Crystal, Christy. That could be someone's first name, last name. Could be a place of interest. Christy Mountain, something of that nature. Or Crystal Street, Crystal Avenue. I'm getting with the park energy. There may be a message around children coming in or perhaps you have children yourself. Maybe this does have to do with maybe going back to school, back to school shopping, getting back into a routine of normalcy. For others of you, I feel like you may be taking a trip, maybe with your family. You have the great outdoors showing up here. Wide open spaces, solitude, maybe hiking, camping, getting out in nature, spending the last few days of summer for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere or spending the last few weeks. There's something here about spending time with people you love, with family, with nature. I also see some of you wanting to work outside or you may be a guide of some sort or this could be a tour guide, perhaps a park ranger, or you may be visiting a national park or visiting, I, again, there's that park energy coming through. So for some of you, the park is significant in some way, shape, or form, whether it is a national park or you could be meeting up with family for a celebration at the park, or that is your reminder to have fun, to get outside, to be one with nature. Because some of you, you've been taking on a lot or it's been quite hectic. It's been very busy. I feel like the grounding may be necessary. Some of you, it's very, very important to ground. You may have been feeling very scattered, very spacey, or you may have even missed out on some appointments or it just feels like you don't have enough hours in the day. Yeah, enough time. We have the timing card right below it. We have career showing up here. Some of you may work with animals in your career. Perhaps you work, you know, at Rover or you walk pets. You could be a vet. Maybe you are taking care of someone else's animals while they are on vacation or you're looking into someone to take care of yours. I also feel when it comes to career here, because this is a key theme, some of you are really wanting to advance or shift the way that you bring in money. You have the money manager card. This could indicate your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. And that's what you're hoping for, right? Consider careers and money management, banking, accounting, or anything in finance. I also see some of you speaking to or connecting with a banker, an accountant, 
uh, maybe a tax advisor, someone who may give you important advice or they're able to help you make a choice regarding your money because we also have the choice card here. You could be meeting with someone is what I'm getting. You may have a meeting. This could be a sit down meeting, maybe a meeting over the internet around finances. Okay. Or you may be someone who oversees finances in the company, or maybe you are a business owner of some sort. Oh, I love this for you. It says, though you've, you're not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably. This means you'll be able to live within the means of, of how you want to live, basically. You are entering the most comfortable period of your life. Your finances are in a state of balance. That's beautiful. Some of you are, are excited to retire. There is something about retiring or spending time in nature. I'm getting flexibility having more flexibility or shifting into a position that does bring in a little more flexibility for you. There may have been or there could be some unexpected financial setbacks. So I have to bring that up. It's showing up here. And what that means is some of you could have a vehicle issue where your vehicle needs repair or there could be an unexpected bill, okay? There could be a financial crisis that's out of your control. However, collective, you can still control the outcome is what I'm getting, right? And there is something here with help as well. I'm getting the angel, angel energy here of help. Yeah, and we actually have strength and breakthrough. We have breakthrough showing up for you. So whatever this is, I feel like you'll have the strength, the courage, the dedication to push through. Okay, to push through with the strength. This can be about overcoming obstacles is what it says here. And this is that help from your guides, your ancestors. Deal with things ahead and try to prepare for the unexpected. And I feel like you may have, you may have put a little bit of money aside. You may have been saving for a dream or saving to make a choice. Some of you, there is... A knowing that it's time to pivot or exit out of a career, a sole contract has been completed. For those of you that are wondering if your job is going to be stable, I'm going to pull a card for that because I feel like I'm tuning into two different energies. Those of you that want to exit, those of you that want to leave, and those of you that may be worried about your career ending in some way, we're going to look at both of them here. Let's look at those of you that may be worried. Oh, okay. King of coins in the upright. Okay. It's a, it landed at the, on the ground. I'll grab that here for you one moment, but I am getting, you will be okay. Okay. You will be okay. Uh, your job is secure. You actually had the king of coins show up and it does say secured abundance. So I feel like this is actually big boss energy for those of you that have been worried about your career in some way, shape, or form. Am I going to get that raise? Am I going to be laid off? Am I going to be fired? I feel like you're actually in a very good standing position and you will be okay with that king of coins. For those of you that may be wanting to exit out of your career and head towards something better, something more enriching here, let's take a look. What do we have for those that are looking for a new opportunity? Yep, there's the death. There's the Hierophant. Okay, so there may be some steps. It may not be overnight. You know that. Uh, the Death card says that there's going to be endings here, but there's been a little bit of a transition period. Some of you, an ending has been resisted of some sort or delayed, or perhaps you've had to stay in a position until you were able to secure a new opportunity, but you're ready. You're like, I've been ready, Mel. And we have the King of Swords and the Hierophant with the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is about unconventional ways of making money. So some of you are looking to leave your nine to five in order to become an entrepreneur or go off on your own. 
or vice versa. Perhaps you've been an entrepreneur and you had to go back or you you went into the corporate world, right? Uh, King of Swords is ethics over emotion. This is about you being wise and intelligent. You're a thought leader here. And we do see change showing up, needed change. Six of Swords is a spiritual transition to something new, something more peaceful, more abundant. And that's what I do see. Let's get a timing card for both of these. Spirit, what do we have for... Yeah, patience required for those of you that are looking for a new opportunity because I do see that there has been some resistance. Spirit, can we get timing here? Okay, February could be significant for you. February of 2025. Some of you are like, Mel, I am not waiting until February to leave. Uh, we have January coming in here as well. So 2025 could be significant for those of you that have been really working towards maybe shifting your career in some way, shape, or form. And then we have, yeah, when you release, when you release resistance. And that's what I was picking up on here. So what is the resistance and how can we help the collective release it? The moon. There's a lot of fears. There's a lot of uncertainties of what ifs and false evidence appearing real. The moon is about needing clarity, but I do feel like there's going to be opportunities for you. And I'm getting Pisces season is significant here with the moon as well. And actually Pisces season is in February. So again, February could be significant. Some of you may have gone through a situation in February of 2024 even, and you may have been wanting ever since then to kind of leave. Things may have felt very uncertain, very hidden. Maybe there were secrets in the workplace or there were unknown truths, but I am feeling an energy of, of moving out of this. You will get there. Some of you, it'll be sooner rather than later. For others of you, at the max, I'm getting February, okay? Now, for those of you that are currently in a position and you're wanting to stay there, there is growth. I feel like there is growth. Your job will be secure. But what else do we need to know for those of you that are in a position that either is brand new, you've been there for a while, and you're not looking to exit out of it? But let's see what's going on for you. Okay, we have an all-in attitude and you do feel like you're being recompensed or if you work for yourself, I feel like you're coming up with new ways to, to go all in, to really show up, hone into your gifts, your skills, your talents and other people are able to recognize this as well. There is something here about earning respect or you have earned the respect of others this is generous giving and really being able to set those boundaries that you need to set in order to rise above. And that's what I see here with the six of coins, beautiful energy, generous giving will also bring in generous receiving. So it's looking good for, for all of you here, but some of you, maybe the unexpected piece could be, you know, a setback of some sort, or it could be an item in the home or a vehicle replacement but because we have the strength here spirit is helping you overcome some of these obstacles and challenges some of you may be traveling okay with the great outdoors and we talked about that i feel like there could be travel in the near future let's take a look at timing what do we need to know about travel what do we need to know about travel spirit we have march we have festive season, okay, some of you, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have tomorrow. So perhaps you're leaving tomorrow, you could be on vacation right now as you're listening to this reading, or there is a trip coming up during autumn or fall time, okay, so September 22nd or so until I believe November, sometime in November is fall or autumn season. Yeah, and then we have potentially a trip planned in March of 2025. All right, what do we need to know about travel here for the collective? What do we need to know about travel? Two of Cups. You could be traveling to connect with someone, someone that you love. You may be traveling with a best friend, a lover, 
a partnership of some sort. This is looking really good. You may even meet someone if you're single, okay? You could meet someone. You may be ready to get away is what I'm getting. Some of you, there's been a lot of doubt or there's been a lot of in the head type of energy with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords can be about feeling trapped, feeling restricted. I also see for some of you, this has to do with a move. And you may be wondering, when is there going to be a move? I see festive season showing up here. So it could be around September, October, or November is a move. I'm also getting March, okay, March of 2025. There could be an opportunity to buy a home or a home could sell. And then we also have some of you in the midst of a move as we speak, right? Tomorrow energy. But it has been difficult. There's been some obstacles. A lot of those obstacles, though, are overthinking. It can be expectations, perfectionism. It can be fears coming to the surface. But I do see that there's going to be a sense of confidence returning. And there may even be a little needed break, whether it's a weekend getaway, a day getaway, maybe a couple weeks or even a full month if you're able to. And I feel like once you come back, there's a sense of confidence that has returned. There's a clear energy. And any of this moon that you've been sitting in, and like I said, this Aquarian full moon on August 19th, even though these are timeless, some of you are listening around the time of the full moon, you are really releasing a lot of things here. And I feel like a lot of those things directly have to do with the beliefs or the thoughts that limit you and hold you back collective. All right. We have animal kingdom. Marley. I'm hearing Marley. Isn't that a movie? Yeah. Marley and me or a book. Marley. Maybe someone named a pet after I'm getting someone named a pet after a character in a book or in a movie. If that's you, drop it below. Let me know what your animal's name is. It could be named after, I'm getting Sylvester as well. Sylvester. Okay, let's take a look. What do we need to know about the animal kingdom? Oh, some of you are, are having wild dreams. Quite literally, you could be dreaming about wild animals, such as cats, perhaps mountain lions, this could be cougars, pumas, lions. This could be wild animals of some sort. Spirit, what do we have? Nine of coins, victory. Okay, victory. Oh, some of you, you know this unexpected expense? This could even be a vet bill, or you may have been worried about the health of your animal. And I actually feel like, there's going to be a recovery here of some sort, okay? Animal kingdom. Because the nine of coins is independence. It Some of you may have cats, right? Nine of coins. Uh, but this is about prosperous victory. And I also see if you did have a, a pet that's crossed over. Some of you are carrying some guilt, okay? Why am I getting guilt here? Oh, it's as if you weren't quite sure if you should have made a choice. I'm getting the choice card or if there was a decision, a better decision that could have been made. I feel like your pet wants you to release some sort of guilt collective. Okay. Um, of course, if there's pain or sadness or sorrow associated, that's very much healthy and part of the grieving process. But I feel like your pet has crossed over. They've made it over the rainbow bridge. They want you to know that there's been prosperous victory or that they're okay, okay? I also see if some of you are questioning getting a pet or an animal. The answer is yes, okay? Uh, or the answer is yes, but possibly I'm getting a waiting period. Maybe you have to wait for... The approval or wait for maybe the pet to get a little bit bigger first I also oh my goodness you cannot make this up look at this cute little guy right isn't that an Australian Shepherd okay some of you may be getting an Australian Shepherd but I'm actually seeing the one with the blue eye you know when they have one brown eye one blue eye okay there could be something quite quick that happens here 
that actually is good. I feel like this is good. There could be a news coming in or you may receive news around a pet. Okay, that's just confirmation. Some of you may even get a message from a loved one in spirit through a cardinal. It could be through, you know, a winged creature or any creature in the great outdoors. Pay attention to the animals that are showing up in your life, whether they are your animals, other people's, they're showing up through dreams. Okay, and when the animals show up, we're going to pull a couple of animal cards here and see what messages your animals have for you at this time. What do we have, please, for the collective? Dolphin. This and that are true. This does have to do with the judgment energy, card 20, Scorpio. Something about letting go of regrets. And we said that earlier as well. So it's almost as if I'm hearing the truth is that you, you loved me. The truth is I'm okay. The truth, it's almost like the truth has been mis miscued in some sort of way because of regrets. And I want you to look into the real truth of it, which is you were an awesome pet parent. There's something here about letting go of those regrets and a second chance or bringing a new member into the family, something of that nature here. All right, we have, some of you may even be marine biologists or you could live near a marina. You may see dolphins. Dolphins could be part of your spirit animal. We have pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. You may be 42, 47 years old. Well, I almost said 42. Some of you may be 42. This um, could be 35. You have koala. Spirit has a plan. Spirit has a plan. And sometimes that plan collective is different than ours. But sometimes spirit's plan is way better. And we have to trust and that goes for career, that goes for family, that goes for loss, that goes for, you know, everything in our lives at times. Yes, we have free will, but there are destined events in our lives that are meant to take place. And no matter how much we plan, you know, it's like they say, um, we plan, God laughs, right? But I feel like there's something about plans may not have turned out the way that you had wanted, but I actually feel that things are turning out or they will be much better, okay? They will be much better. Things are improving is what I'm picking up on. Spirit has a plan. Use your mind wisely. The power of the mind can build or it can destroy. It can build or it can destroy. So let's take a look here. You have signs and symbols. Let's talk about spiritual gifts, spirit communication, coins, numbers, synchronicities, dreams, and feathers. What do we need to be on the lookout for? Spirit, what messages are coming through? What does the collective need to know? What signs are presenting at this time that you may be missing or perhaps you've recognized, but you're not sure what to do with it? Let's look. Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay, some of you are receiving a sign that you've hit a glass ceiling and it's time to, it's time to move, move in a new direction. I'm also getting here, you've come to the end. You've put in a lot of work, a lot of work towards your healing, your business. This can be self-development your career, love relationship. But the 10 of wands is saying you are so close to this forward movement. Don't give up or don't quit right before you hit the finish line. Okay. Don't quit right before you, you hit the finish line and you are receiving signs and symbols, but you have the 10 of wands and I feel like you can do anything you set your mind to, even though there is this sense of taking on a lot, I feel like the message is a need to reprioritize. What do you want to move forward with and what can you drop to the wayside for now? Because the 10 of wands, 10s, 10 is showing up. October could be significant here. Didn't we get the October card earlier? Okay, well, we do have festive season and that is October. 
for those in the Northern Hemisphere, but I feel like you are going to move forward. Three of Wands is a return on your investment. It is choices that have been made. And we actually have the choice card. So some of you, there's going to be a decision made, I want to say, within the next four weeks. Can we get a timing card, Spirit? What do we have for timing? We have the Empress. There is October or Libra season. This can also be September. So September 23rd is the start of Libra season. I'm also getting Taurus energy here, but I do feel... Four weeks time frame, there's going to be some choices made that are going to help you and allow you to move forward in matters of the heart. Release some of these burdens and enter into a new prosperous phase of your life. This is beautiful. You're seeing the signs all around you. And I feel like a lot of you, you have been si seeing animals. Perhaps you've seen, you know, a bald eagle and maybe eagles to you represent freedom. And that could be a message that more financial freedom is showing up here or emotionally you are being freed from a situation that you were tethered to. Some of you are healing. There's a path of recovery because I see the strength. I see the healing card and I see the breakthrough on the bottom of the deck. Some of you had surgery. I'm getting you've been healing during your sleep. And that may be why some of you have had very crazy dreams lately. Some of you, you've had dreams of caution. Okay, that's why I see that caution card. Okay, this can also be Reiki. You may be learning Reiki. You may be guided to do Reiki on others or yourself or your pets or even your food. This can be closure. Gaining closure over a situation that may have been very difficult for you with the strength. It's about loss and grief, but there's a breakthrough here showing up with this. And this is about a moment of truth. That's why Dolphin Spirit says this and that are truth. And there is a big truth coming up for you. And with that truth, you're going to see a little bit of light come in and then a little bit more and then a lot more. There's victory here. This is advancement. This is Taking it to the next level. I feel like this is your soul advancing to the next level. This could be of a relationship, of your job, of your health. Now, last but not least, let's see what this choice card is all about. Now, we do have timing, and I have been pulling timing cards. But I am getting here choice let's clarify now on the choice card collective we have decisions being made and like i said uh libra season or within the next four weeks things are really going to turn for the better i'm actually getting wheel of fortune some of you are releasing some sort of toxicity i do see the devil here as well we have the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck this is about moving forward towards change what do we have here for choices? Page of Wands, rapid fire planning. Page of Wands is excitement. It's being that student. Some of you, this is back to school. Okay, this is back to school or back to learning something. This can be action oriented. Okay, Page of Wands. Oh, Page of Wands, I don't want to say necessarily action oriented, but there's a fire being lit up that is causing you to take action. So yeah, it is action oriented. Even though it's not the night, I feel like some sort of plans are taking shape. And you can see that this little creator here, this little architect, it almost looks like an Etch-A-Sketch. It's like the plans are coming to life for you. Yeah, plans are coming to life. Some of you have choices around schooling for your own children or children could be involved in some way. We said that at the very beginning of your reading as well. And there's your new beginning. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. There is the motivated beginning, as it says. And some of you had went through some sort of useless delay. And you're wondering why. Why did I go through that? There may have been an opportunity for growth. Pages can represent news. But they can also be growth because a page isn't quite a king or a queen so if you can look at the silver lining and see how far you've come maybe the lesson was in patience maybe it was in trust trusting the universe perhaps it was trusting in yourself to make choices 
there is a brand new motivated beginning and I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of inspiration, a lot of happiness because it's coming from within. The spirit realm here or the wand realm is that of spirit. It's inspirational, it's creative, it's passionate, it's the spiritual force behind why you're doing the things that you're doing. Beautiful. All right, let's get a message from your soul's truth. Just because we do have a lot of truth bombs dropping in your reading here. Let's see what you need to know at this time, collective. What do you need to know at this time and action steps that you can take on your path? We have, what do you resist feeling? We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we must first honor its existence emotions are like waves some are soft some are fierce some are layered and some will sweep you off your feet what happens when waves hit the shoreline right they come in yeah some are huge some are you know so tall that you know you could certainly get swept away in them but what happens when those waves crash against the shore they dissipate so trust that you know, the feelings that you're feeling now are not going to last forever. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. So a lot of you during this full moon or whenever you're watching this, take a look at the full moon energy. I feel like you have overcome a lot with the strength card. You've done a lot of healing and I feel like now you are really releasing something that has been difficult or challenging in your life allow yourself to feel this wave let it move through you no matter how long it lasts right we can't always put a timetable on healing and nor are we supposed to right one person's pain may last a lot longer than another's we don't need to compare then release it back into the ocean. Feel it, heal it, enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. And that's exactly what this Ace of Wands is bringing is sweet freedom. And once we release, that's when the magic happens. Well, I feel like the magic happens even during the healing. So sometimes we think that, you know, we're not going to be happy until we're fully healed. And I feel like that is not the truth, right? Yes, we... We can still be healing or on that healing journey and still embrace a new beginning. And we can heal while we're going through new things. But I feel for a lot of you, you are working on really letting some sort of emotion, like it says, go back out into the, the ocean and that will help you embrace this new beginning with more momentum, more vitality and more energy yeah more energy because then you're not putting a lot of that energy over here but it's still possible to find that balance between both and lastly bottom of the deck we have rest and retreat time out downtime healing recovery some of you may tr be traveling to a spiritual retreat or this is about you really coming together with loved ones or a lover calling in soul tribe if you've been on this journey and you felt a little bit isolated or you felt like you've been hermiting i feel like there's new people coming in and some of you are strengthening the connections that you've already made that is what i have for you collective i hope this was helpful if so please hit that thumbs up button feel free to share like subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already thank you so very much for tuning in today lots of love